face it, learning how to code is hard. We've all been there. It is super difficult. Some days it feels like a task. Some days you don't want to touch it. You learn for a long time, but feel like you haven't learned anything. We've all been there. We've been stuck in tutorial hell. We've been looking at a VS code sheet, trying to start a project and not even know where to begin. We've all been there. It's cool. Today, I'm going to share a few tips to help me to stop being like that. First up, I had to change my mentality that this wasn't like a school that I need to graduate and I need to learn this thing in order to complete it. I have to treat it like a lifestyle change. Learning how to program is a lifestyle change. It's continuous learning. It's continuous problem solving. Leak code isn't about knowing how to write out the syntax of the code. It's about being able to problem solve and break things down. And once I twisted my mindset to think like a programmer, things began to change because I started looking at it as a problem solving skill and not so much of like, how do you write syntax of Python or how do you do this in JavaScript? We can Google that stuff. There's lots of documentation. That stuff's okay not to know. The issue is, is do you know how to break it down? Do you know how to find the solution? The next thing I had to do is I had to stop doing tutorials. I had to start doing my own projects. And what that took for me was I got a template of like a portfolio website, something that I kind of liked, And I started working with that website. I started breaking stuff, changing things, making it my own website. And that's how I started to learn CSS and JavaScript and HTML really well with a landing page for my own portfolio website. I've now built like eight of them, but hey, I kept practicing and breaking them and checking them out and trying them different ways until I felt like I had a real good grasp of it. And now I know that I don't know everything, but I can figure it out. I know enough that with enough time, I can figure these things out. But it went from me just going out and doing it on my own, getting out of those tutorials. You got to do the same thing. The other thing I really had to do was I had to focus on one language or one project, right? I kept bouncing around trying to do this, trying to do that. And like I said before, it isn't about knowing the syntax of any specific language. It's about being able to problem solve these different languages and these issues within these applications, breaking down the logic. How do I figure it out? How would I do this? How would I set this up? Right? Making diagrams and flow charts and all these things. Those are the things that is important in programming. And that's why it kind of doesn't matter what language you pick, but it's a good idea to pick one language and kind of stick with it and learn that language really well. That way you can be like, hey, I'm really good at JavaScript. I'm really good at Java. Whatever language it is that you pick, try to stick with that one and get to know that language real well. The rest to come easier because you'll start thinking like a programmer and have them problem solving skills that everybody's actually looking. Next, I had to get connected in different communities with different people. When I was by myself in my room, learning how to program. It was very, very lonely. I was watching them tutorials and me and Angelo, you on Udemy got real close because I watched her all the time, but I had to start reaching out and getting a community. And for me, it started with YouTube and a little bit of Reddit, which led me to a local meetup in my area. And now I've made a few good friends at the local meetup. And I suggest you get on meetup and look for the same thing. Don't be afraid to fail. That is how we learn. You have to go fail. You got to go break stuff. You got to do these things. And I know for me, I was terrified to break something. I was like, oh, I don't want to destroy anything. But you got to go out and do this. You got to break things. That's how you're going to learn. Fail upwards. These are just a few things that help me start to understand how to learn code a lot better. When I started applying these things in my life, I started to learn a lot more and a lot faster. And I hope these things can help you too, because they helped me a lot. And we've all went through it. And I was just sitting here looking at my screen, thinking about when I used to stare at my VS code, it didn't even know how to get started. And I was like, you know what? I'm not the only one. Let's do a video. So, hey, if this brought you a little bit of value today, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.